Hey, this is Chris with Create Users and the US Tech Channel. Today I have the iPad Mini with a Trident case, an iPad 3 with a Griffin Survivor case, and a Droid DNA with a Commuter case. Uh, basically what I wanted to do is check out the new uh, Google Maps application for iOS and kind of compare it to some other devices. Anyways, um, some of the problems I had with the normal maps is uh, the, the navigation. Let's go to uh, Kima Boardwalk here. We're located up by 290 and kind of Highway 6 in Houston, Texas. We'll click uh, Kima Boardwalk. Please note that this is kind of coming from a more of an Android guy than an iOS guy. So let's get directions to here find our route so we'll just pick route one and hit start starting route to Kima boardwalk head west on west road one of the problems I had with it is right here you can't really scroll around I've talked to other iOS people about this and they haven't uh, offered up any solutions maybe you guys can leave some stuff in the comments about how uh, there's more functionality than what I'm showing uh, basically, I kind of want to zoom out and zoom in and then move to see where my next turn is, but you can't do that here unless you click Overview. And then you have to kind of zoom back in. Okay, so my next turn was on 290, and then I, and I can resume. So that was one of my big uh, problems with it. Let's check out what the new application looks like. Let's go to Google Maps. Right there you can click to return to navigation. Tap here to show satellite imagery and other views. They have the overflow, overflow menu just like uh, in the Android operating system. So let's type in Kima Boardwalk. You can still use voice input to search for your destination. Kima Boardwalk. Of course, to get this on your iPad or iPad Mini, you're going to have to go to the App Store and after you search, of course, you'll have to look under iPhone apps. Now, the resolution does uh, look pretty good on this. I'll just go to our normal Maps application on the iPad Mini. Then on this device, I'll go ahead and load, open up Google Maps. This is a normal Android device. Let's type in Kima Boardwalk. See what it looks like. See they have the overflow menu right there as well. You can get the map overlays right here. Go ahead and go to satellite. Here you click layers, then into the satellite layer. Oops. We could have hit the little nav icon out to the side right here, which will immediately have started our navigation, or we could get more information about it. Here you just click and slide this up get more information about it. So we can get directions right there or here we can click the little car. So here are your route options. Immediately you can avoid tolls which I always do. To my knowledge you can't really choose to avoid tolls until you hit the overflow afterwards hit the gears avoid tolls okay hit the nav to go back one of the things I wish I could do is just set it to default with no tolls I never use toll roads uh, here's your route options right here We'll just use the top one. It doesn't look like we can get an overview from here. Maybe I'm wrong. 
I'll continue to check that out. So go ahead and choose your route. I mean, you could go back and then choose another route. Go back, choose the original route, and then hit start. And you'll begin your turn by turn uh, navigation. Okay, so the built in compass doesn't work right here, it looks like. So, as you can see right here, depending on where you point the device, the built in compass will show you your direction. As you can see here, you can zoom in, look at upcoming turns, and then just hit resume to go back to your original location. Before I end this video, let's go back and look at route selection and route options. Pretty much you don't get any options uh, in the Android uh, operating system in the beginning except for reverse start and end. So go ahead and click navigation. And this is when we get our options in our little overflow menu, routes and alternatives. Then we get to choose if we want to uh, avoid highways or avoid tolls by selecting the gears, which I showed earlier, or picking one out of three uh, possible routes right here. So if you run into traffic, it should be able to uh, make three routes based uh, on your current location. Just choose your location and then hit nav and go back. It will give you warnings if it uses tolls. So go back to navigation. Here when you're setting up uh, your nav, uh, you can pick a location and then actually I was incorrect in the beginning uh, the alternate routes are shown in gray so go ahead and choose your route and hit start then turn right. you could have also chosen uh, to use highways or avoid highways and tolls uh, right in the beginning. Now, at this point, you don't have any options uh, to reroute, it looks like. So you'd have to kind of end your navigation, click the X, go back, re-identify your original destination, and then reroute from there. Uh, like I said, if anyone finds a different way to do some of the things here, please uh, leave them in the comments section below. That's just a brief overview of the new Google Maps uh, for iOS. So for more information about this and more, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube uh, channel, and visit my website at cricketusers.com. Thank you.